Hello again, YouTubers on with SpongeBob 101 back here again on the SpongeBob channel. Today is May 10th and it is finally time for the very first edition, the 2021 edition of our SpongeBob video game collection in which I will be showing you guys all the various SpongeBob video games that I have collected over the years including those for PC, those for the console systems, as well as those for handheld systems. So that's basically the three categories that I'll be dividing this video into. And I'll just give you guys a quick look over here. So these are all the games that we will be taking a look at today. Um, there is just one more. Um, it is in a very big box. So I will be showing that to you, in, well, later in the video. Uh, I'll just be going in chronological order based on the categories and when I got these uh, video games. So that is not all for the video actually. We have not one, like one here, but two. <laughs> all right, so two Amazon uh, packages to open up at the very end of this video. It's not exactly directly related to SpongeBob, but it has a lot to do with, um, you know, videos that are coming up relating to SpongeBob video games in the very near future. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so let's start off with the PC games. This stack is basically all the Spongebob PC games I have collected over the years. In fact, most of these, in fact all of these actually, came before 2009. Probably the first one I ever got was this. Um, Spongebob and Friends Basketball. Actually in the first take of this video, I was doing this part and then the case started falling apart. So I'm gonna be really careful with this one. You can see the case is completely disintegrating. Um, probably because in my old place, I uh, it was in a cabinet facing the sun, like sunlight, right? So you can see here THQ uh, 2004, and the um, developer was Digital Eclipse as well. So trying to, there we go. Yeah, so that's that's your look at it. I thought this game was really really cool, and the camera focus here. Yep. So as you can see in the bottom, it's uh, 2004, um, distributed by Replay Gem here in Singapore and then on the top here you can see all of that really really cool game if you guys haven't tried it before uh, definitely give it a look and unfortunately the case as you can see it's completely fallen apart so then we have this Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom okay so this one um, I got at a department store back in 2006 there's a spine and again this is a local distribution edition as you can see here it's distributed by new era group of companies uh, with thq asia pacific in australia so that is that on the back just shows you guys some uh, photos screenshots of the mini games that you can play and then inside we have the disc which uh, is also the australian disc as you notice here and then we had this magazine from December 2005, just basically advertising some extra games that the distributor was distributing as well. We also have SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. Now, if you look carefully, there is something missing just above the SpongeBob logo. The Nickelodeon logo is somehow photoshopped out, um, and you can see the branding on the new ERA um, uh, distributor here. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's very, very uh, obvious. I'm really not sure how much all of these cost, honestly. I think they were like between 10 to $20 back in those days. And yeah, so on the back, we also have some more screenshots and just more distributor stuff. Yeah, um, inside we have the disc. If you notice here, it's actually the Australian one. Um, has the G for general rating on the bottom there or on the right side. And also in the uh, case, there's a couple of inserts. Um, if I can get them out. So first up, we had the warranty card, and then we had some ad for some ads for extra games back in those days, 2007, as you can see there. But most importantly, the instruction booklet. So just like on the disc, the lights camera pants logo that they used for this edition is the Australian or European um, version. Um, yeah, so again, just pause where you want to uh, read. So it just gives you guys a controls. Then we have a look at the, the story, in-game display, maps, inventory, the actors and the prop list. And then they also give a summary of the mini games that you uh, can play. All right. 
and then on with the show. So once you collect enough actors and props, uh, you can actually create the episode of the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy and begin casting your episode. So there's also the saving the game portion. Um, limited oh, credits here, limited warranty, notes, and yeah, that's about it. And also some uh, customer service hotlines and stuff like that. They are also advertising the 21 to 24 games for PC. So that is the uh, Lights, Camera, Pants copy that I have. Then we will move on to this, I think. So here we have the next one. Employee of the month with the Play THQ logo, PC CD-ROM. As you can see here, paid 995 Singapore dollars for this. Uh, this is the spine and on the back, it was distributed by Replay Interactive here in Singapore. So yeah, overall, uh, this game was pretty good. Um, I mean, it's really very memorable. Here is the description and then inside, we just have the uh, disc here, as you can see, Employee of the Month. Uh, let me just focus. So yeah, it's a very weird color, <laughs> but yeah. And I'm not sure if it, this is the very the original version, but I do have the original version, which is right in this case um, that I'll show you guys in a moment. So next up, we have this. This is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie um, box set. So as you might notice here, this is the US version. The US version. Um, on the side, we have that. The other side. Um, I think you can open, yeah, so if you open this, help save Mr. Krabs and all of Bikini Bottom. Yeah, so it's really cool. It just gives you like a couple of screenshots from the, from the game. So the um, first level, and then after the Krusty Krab 2 shenanigans in the Tuck Tuck, Mindy's level, as well as in the uh, Hotel Deep Sea, I think that was what it was called. And then on the back, we have bigger, better, more absorbent. Join Spongebob and Patrick on their most perilous journey ever to a mysterious place no sea creature has ever returned from. Only you can help them save Mr. Krabs and all of Bikini Bottom from Plankton's dreaded Plan Z. So, yeah, <laughs> very uh, lame subtitles there. We found a paddy wagon. Oh, great. We have to be men to get across. I'm ready, promotion. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a uh, kind of cringe statement if you ask me. But anyways, so then we have AW Games, which was the developer, then Paramount Nickelodeon Movies, Nick.com, THQ, and then on the bottom, uh, as you can see, it is the US version, THQ Inc, Calabasas Hills, California, from 2004. Now, I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's inside very carefully. Okay, so the box opens this way, and then if you open it here, there's a cardboard inside. Oh wait, I think it's, oh it's upside down. Okay, there you go. So here is what's inside. It's just this thing, and then the disc here. So, focus. There you go, SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Um, this is the spine of it. And then on the back, again, we've got the same stuff. The disc, the case is cracked, unfortunately, just be probably because of long um, storage. There, This is what the disc looks like. And of course, I have to show you uh, what is in this uh, instruction booklet, right? So let's take a look at it. Um, clearly, it has seen better days. You can see <laughs> dust on it and all that. But okay, so first up, um, just gonna go right through these this not these okay so running the game and we've got uh, shell city or bus so the cool thing is it actually shows you all the chapters so love thy neighbor then we have the evil under the sea where you help plankton steal a crown essentially hit the road um free mindy right so uh you play as mindy actually entrenched so spongebob patrick uh you know finding their way through the uh um, Abyssal Plains, yes, a pain in the back. This one is really not in the movie itself. They just probably put this in as a filler. Shell City, and then lastly, Playing Topolis. So the return to Bikini Bottom. We also have instructions on the inventory, saving a game, meaning the cast. So all that, then we have credits. 
and then, very cool here, join SpongeBob and Patrick in this wacky collection of mini games. So you can actually download these, uh, the uh, movie game to your cell phone. Um, you get like, uh, I think it's blowing bubbles and Patrick at the Goofy Goobers. Yeah, I remember actually trying to download this uh, back in the day. It actually was pretty cool, uh, but you can't do that anymore. Oh, and actually we have an ad for Nicktoons Basketball. So the real name is actually Nicktoons Basketball, not Nickelodeon SpongeBob and Friends Basketball. But yeah, this is what it looks like uh, by ValueSoft. There we go. And then lastly, we have an ad for SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Uh, get ready for a wild ride. All the new activity books based on the movie. Okay, so I realized that actually I can make it look a little bit better just by covering the camera a little bit here. And also we have some SpongeBob movie books and warranty. On back, advertisement for Shadow Showdown, Fairly Appearance Game. So that is very, very cool. I've, I haven't actually taken a look at this for almost a decade because I no longer own a PC, so I can't even really play it. Um, we also have this very cool thing. This is something that you might have seen in the uh, previous video, the mail day video for GameCube games, Nick Gamer. So here's the scoop. Look for these Nick games in stores now. So you've got Nicktoons Basketball, um, SpongeBob SquarePants Movie, of course, uh, Shadow Showdown, and then this uh, Nickelodeon 4-pack. Four, four great games, one great price. Um, two great action pack combos over here. So the next one here we have is SpongeBob SquarePants Krusty Collection. Um, you can see here, includes two games, as well as uh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom PC demo. This flip uh, or thingy here, this is a, it says a limited edition, including Operation Krabby Patty, Employee of the Month, and a bonus demo of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, this is the side with SpongeBob being hooked. And then on the back, a bundle of SpongeBob fun. All right, so this is also the US edition. Um, and it says 2003 here. I didn't get it in 2003. I'm pretty sure it was at least 2004 or 2005. May have, may have actually gotten this before I got the movie game. So yeah, um, pretty interesting to see this. Okay, and of course I do have to show you guys what is inside. I don't think there is much. Um, oh, there is a receipt. Cool. Okay. According to this receipt, I actually got this back in October 12th, 2005. And this cost 36.90 Singapore dollars back then. Wow. This is some, this is really cool. Actually, the receipt right here. Um, we do have the uh, manual, so it's a double-sided one. One side has Operation Krabby Patty. So I'm not sure if anyone actually has done a video about Krusty Collection on YouTube at all, but um, for those, if, if no one actually has it, uh, has done a video for it, well, I mean, I guess this is your reference point now. You know what is in the manual for Krusty Collection. Um, so yeah, it's really, really cool. Okay, so we have the right side and the wrong side, basically, in um, Operation Krabby Patty. Honestly, I didn't like the game. It was too elementary. Um, not, not in terms of difficulty, it was just the, the graphics and the games were just too boring. There were only five and they would just shake it up for the wrong side. Right, so it would be slightly different characters if you play on the wrong side. And then for Employee of the Month here, I think that was way better. Way, way better. Than Operation Krabby Patty, just because it was more of a exploration, uh, more adventure style game where you could explore Bikini Bottom, Rock Bottom, um, another area of Bikini Bottom, and then the thing was called wait, what was it called? I can't believe I forgot the last location. Um, so it had like Waverly Hills and Oxygen Springs and the uh, Kelp Forest there. Oh yes, it was called Bottoms Up. <laughs> yeah, so that, that city or town was called Bottoms Up. So that is the um, manual. And then I actually removed the discs. Uh, they were originally in these paper envelopes, the square paper envelopes. I put them in a um, case here. So this is the disc for Operation Krabby Patty. And then we also have the disc for Employee of the Month. And then the last boxed game that I have to show you guys is this, Nighty Nightmare. I got this as a gift back in 2007. 
Um, this was released in 2006, and it was kind of uh, related to Creature from the Krusty Krab. It was sort of like uh, the PC version. In fact, it did get rebranded as the PC version of uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab eventually. The Honestly, the concept is, is similar, 90 Nightmare, that is. Um, and on the back here, you can see THQ, everything. Unfortunately, this wasn't as cool as those box games because this one actually featured a case inside which had no art. This is the disc. This is what it looks like. There we go. So yeah, you can see there. It even has installation on how to use the disc on the disc itself. And then we do have a warranty card again and the manual. So the user's guide is what, what it's called, all right? And then on the back, open for a quick start manual. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you guys what is inside here. So there we go. Ah, uh, SpongeBob's Good Dream, and then SpongeBob's Nighty Nightmare, Patrick's Good Dream, and Patrick's Nighty Nightmare, and then Plankton's Good Dream, and Plankton's Nighty Nightmare. So this game was not very complex. It was sort of an adventure game, but it was also like a fetch quest, honestly. So yeah, not a super cool game, I would say. But yeah, it is what it is. The last one that I have to show you in terms of PC games is this. SpongeBob SquarePants Typing. This I remember getting at a bookstore um, back in, I think 2007, 2008, uh, learned by the Learning Company. So this was well, was is there an year on it? Obviously, the Nickelodeon logo is not a new one, so yeah. Um, that's the back of it, and then inside, let me just gently open it. There you go. So, yeah, this is the disc 2004 um, River Deep Interactive Learning Limited. <laughs> okay, that's a very long name there. Okay, so Spongebob's Cover is typing, and I don't believe. Yeah, it's just a paper. There is no instruction manual aside from what you see right here. So yeah, those are our PC games for SpongeBob. Now onto the console game. This is a mix of Xbox, Wii, Nintendo GameCube, as well as Nintendo Switch over here. There are 16 total titles, 15 if you don't count one of these, uh, specifically you draw Studio. So uh, let's go through them one by one. I'm gonna, this one I actually know in which order I got them. These games were the classic games for me. Um, before the, before 2009, I didn't have any, or 2008 at least, I didn't have any Spongebob console games aside from these three. So the first one I ever got is, very appropriately, Spongebob Squarepants, the movie. For Xbox, of course, uh, it's 100% genuine. It's the US edition, as you can see here, 2004 THQ Inc. And then on the, by the way, if you guys wanna read, just pause. It's pretty much the same as the GameCube edition. Um, on the inside here, this is the disc. If you look at it here, it's very, very well kept. Uh, so kudos to me. <laughs> Even as a kid, you know, I was treating it very well. What was not treated very well is the manual, unfortunately. As you can see here, I think I probably like accidentally got it wet or something. So yeah, uh, but anyways, I'm still gonna show you guys what the inside is. So unlike the GameCube, of course, we uh, have the Xbox controls, um, the story, the rest of it is pretty much the same um, because it is just a different console but the same game, right? Um, and I did go through this for the GameCube copy in a previous video actually in our uh, mega, mega mail day featuring Spongebob games from GameCube games from eBay. So yeah, again, we've got the ad for Spongebob movie books and credits, limited warranty. And then on the back, ad for Tactus, the staff of dreams. So that is very cool. Unfortunately, uh, all my save data, it's all gone because um, the Xbox we had were completely broke down. It wasn't repairable. So we just got rid of it, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the story for that one. The next one I got in 2005 as well. So the first one, uh, Spongebob movie, I got it in 2005, early 2005, when uh, my family picked up an Xbox. All right, so this one, second one I got in June of 2005, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is obviously a very classic game that has been remade, essentially. And on the back, this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. More screenshots here. And I didn't pick this up for a GameCube. One specific reason, one main reason is because, well, it's available uh, rehydrated, right? 
So this game was actually uh, obtained or purchased in Australia. My parents were on a vacation to Australia, then they picked this up and bought it for me. Now, if you notice here, um, I think it's uh, okay. Actually, no, yeah. So the funny thing is, it's made in Singapore, where I live, but. My parents bought it from Australia and then brought it back to Singapore. So <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the disc. Let's see how good it is. I haven't seen this in a very, very long time. In fact, this is actually more pristine, more pristine than uh, the SpongeBob movie game. So yeah, again, kudos to me. And the manual is in pretty decent condition as well. Um, I did write down some cheat codes as well. So that's pretty cool. Not on the manual, but um, in separate paper, a separate sheet of paper. So on the back here, we have the advertisement for Breaking the Rules. I remember seeing the trailer for that. And then, now I'm gonna give you guys a good look at the uh, instruction manual here because I haven't shown this one in any video before. So we've got the Xbox um, Getting Started controls, then we've got the pause menu, main menu, and then when you, uh, so this is the introduction to the story as well as introducing our heroes items. You can see Spongebob <laughs> and then all the uh, more items here. So the tiki's, the taxi stands, the extra stuff, Bikini Bottom, Jellyfish Fields, Downtown Bikini Bottom, Goo Lagoon, Poseidon, Rock Bottom, Mermelair, Sand Mountain, Industrial Park, and then we've got the Kelp Forest, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, and Spongebob's Dream, Shum Bucket Lab. And then next up we also have the credits. So there's a list of the credits there. We've got an ad for SpongeBob Books back in 2003. I do own this and the winner is, as well as Ready for Laughs, but I think this actually, I may not have any more. I'm not exactly sure, but these two I do not have. Yeah, um, and then we have the SpongeBob SquarePants game. This is very interesting. I was always fascinated. When I, for the first time I got this game, I was looking at this, I was like, I gotta get this game. Well, like um, 16 years later, so it's 2021 now, I haven't gotten this game. <laughs> so yeah, probably yeah, maybe soon, maybe uh, if I do get it off eBay. Uh, I think there are some off eBay. Uh, I'll do a video for that, but yeah, that's very cool. And now also we have the Splash and Roll game. We've got some Nickelodeon activity books, as well as uh, some DVDs. Limited warranty on the back there, and that's about it. So yeah, that's... Battle for Bikini Bottom. Next up, the third one, SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants. Now this one, uh, well, uh, we got it here in Singapore. Um, but this is the spine. It is the US edition, by the way. So yeah, um, on the back here, 2005 THQ Inc. Renderware, and also as I showed in the GameCube video, the previous one. THQ Studio Australia. So yeah, pretty much the back is exactly the same aside from that. And then inside, this is the disc. Come on, focus. There we go, come on. All right, so yeah, that is the disc. Let me just see how good in condition it is. Whoa, <laughs> okay, so this one is almost like it's brand new. Uh, there we go, so this is the manual. Lights, camera, pants. On the back, we've got Tech, the Great Juju Challenge. You can buy it now. <laughs> I didn't, of course. Uh, okay, so this is the manual. Similar to the GameCube one, which I showed in the previous video. So let me just quickly speed through this. If I'm not wrong, this is actually in color. The, was the other one in color? I don't even remember. So yeah, um, there we go. All the uh, games. Personally, my favorite was, in terms of music, I thought the best one was the very first one. Um, that would be... Flipping out, yeah. I really like the music and flipping out. Uh, it was just such an epic tune. Uh, in terms of my favorite one, maybe Rock Bottom. Um, yeah, probably that one. And then I also thought the Rock Paper Scissors music was just so epic. Okay, then we also have Unlockables, the art gallery. You can unlock the action figures as well. Then we've got the credits here. Um, then an advertisement for Spongebob books, as well as the Spongebob DVDs, Fear of a Krabby Patty, and Absorbing Favorites, as well as Wear Carry, which the artwork is not shown. Register your games at, online at THQ.com, and limited warranty, that's about it for the Xbox. So yeah, three games, uh, brings back so many memories uh, as a kid playing these games, you know, it was such an epic time. 
But we must move on, okay? Because now we're going into the Wii era. So this stack here uh, has all the Wii games that I currently have. So the first one I ever got after we got the Wii was this, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. This was basically at a game store. It was like two for 30, two for 40 dollars basically. So this was around 20 dollars. And um, I'm not sure if they were trying to clear it, but that was just one year after this came out. So yeah, that this was my very first Nicktoons game. And honestly, I had never finished this game. I never finished it because it was just too difficult <laughs> for me. And even going back to it like a couple years later, I still couldn't do it. So that is the artwork Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Hopefully this focuses well. I do like the artwork of Spongebob though. And disc check. Uh, okay, so we got some dust on it. But aside from that, very good condition. And then finally, we, we also have the manual and this extra thing. Um, so yeah, there was like a Club Nintendo insert as well as the... Oh, actually, I don't think these were in the game. This was from a Wii Sports Resort that I actually sold, but I kept those inserts. Yeah, but okay, so this was the only one that came with it, the instruction booklet. On the back, you've got an ad for playthq.com. And then this is what it looks like inside. All right, so we've got the getting started controls. And being my first SpongeBob related game for the Wii was very interesting because of course you get to play as SpongeBob, um, but I, I didn't really like the game, honestly. It was only because SpongeBob was in it that, that you know I decided to play it. Um, yeah, so that is that, Hero Zones. And then this, I think this was pretty much the best part of the entire manual. Uh, the advertisement for Atlantis Square Pantis. So, uh, new to DVD, November 13th. 13. So yeah, that was uh, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, my very first SpongeBob related Wii game. But that is not all, because we have, in 2009, I got the first SpongeBob mainline game, I guess you could call it. And this was Atlantis Square Pantis. Paid but I think 40, some, some, maybe 35 to 40 Singapore dollars, so it would be like 30 US dollars for this back in the day, uh, 2009. And when I found it, I was so excited because I never had, we had a Wii, but the only games we were playing were like Wii Sports. <laughs> so it was kind of silly, right? And so when I got this, I started playing immediately once I got home. And I gotta say, I'm not sure if this game is that unpopular as I think it is. But if it is, you know, I, I think I've heard a lot of criticism of this game. Honestly, I really like it. Um, this is the US edition, by the way. I really like this, not just because it was my first um, SpongeBob Wii game, but because I really do like the gameplay in this game. So we've got the disc there. Oh, wow. This is pristine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So clearly PC games don't do as, weren't as kept as, kept well as these, right? Uh, this is the instruction so, manual. Yeah. Now let's quickly go through the um, instruction booklet for this. So we've got some great art here from Atlantis Square Pantas. The uh, mini games in this game I thought were really, really cool. And it also reused some music from Creature from the Krusty Krab. Um, my favorite song in this one is actually the main menu theme. It's a remix or remaster, or it's basically a variation of the Creature from the Krusty Krab theme. Uh, which I thought was, it's probably the most epic Spongebob video game theme I've ever heard. So if you haven't heard the, the main menu song for Creature from the Krusty Krab, you are missing out, guys. You gotta go hear how awesome it sounds. Next up, we have Truth or Square. Now, uh, I got this very shortly after it came out back in the fall of 2009. So it has the Happy Square sweepstakes, um, peel to play for prizes thing. Um, also, compatible with Wii Motion Plus, this is the Spine, True for Square. And then on the back, US edition by the way. I paid full price for this, I think it was um, $56 back, in, back when it came out. Um, so in US dollars, probably like $45. And you know, no one would pay that amount of money in this day and age for a Wii game. So next up, we have Truth or Square. This has the appeal to play for prizes. This was released uh, fall 2009. I got it shortly after it was released. I paid quite a bit for it. It was like 45 US dollars 
uh, back then. Of course, nowadays, this is not worth 45 US dollars, of course. Uh, this is what it looks like inside. And of course, we gotta, you gotta be consistent, right? We need to check the disc. Um, yeah, pristine condition as well. So clearly, you know, uh, I more or less realized how important it was to keep the disc um, well kept. So, uh, in fact, the manual is also very, very good condition. So, um, contents here, I'm just gonna go through this. Honestly, I didn't really like this game. Although it was developed by Heavy Iron Studios, the game, um, once I started playing, I wasn't too impressed with it. In fact, I feel Bikini, Battle for Bikini Bottom was still a better game. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants movie was still a better game. And even Atlantis SquarePants was a better game. I just didn't like the concept of, of them just, you know, going through some memories. In fact, actually, why couldn't they have, like, uh, tie this in with the episode itself? Of course, now that, that's an even bigger controversy because the episode wasn't very well received, <laughs> if you get what I mean. So, yeah, that was true for Square. Um, okay, now, just want to say, I actually found a deal on eBay uh, for Atlanta Square Pants and True for Square for the DS. So, if you guys are watching, like for the premiere, you can put it in the chat. Uh, if you want me to purchase the those two games, it's a pretty good deal. It's a 12, 30, 12 US dollars, including free shipping to the uh, freight forwarding warehouse. So if you guys want to see videos on those, comment in the chat or in the comments below, I guess. And uh, if I see interest in that, I'll pick those up, do a video for those as well. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, besides the point. Next one, you draw studio. This one I'm not gonna go through uh, the manual. It's just, it's just came with the you uh, draw tablet. And the reason why I purchased the you draw tablet is not because I like the tablet. It was because they were releasing a SpongeBob game for it. Uh, this is SpongeBob Squiggle Pants, released in 2011, and it requires the you draw game tablet, as you can see right here. So this is the spine, and then on the back. So yeah, this was a very expensive game back uh, back in the day because it didn't just require the game; it required the U Draw tablet. So putting into the, this game in the U Draw tablet, I think it was around like 120 US dollars or 110 US dollars uh, for that. So yeah, let's see. Come on, I'm pretty sure I kept this game in very very good condition. If I can get get it out, even. Okay, it's, okay, there we go. So yeah, pretty much perfect as usual, except for like uh, the stain there, but that's not a scratch, so it's fine. And then for the manual here, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Yes, on the back, they were advertising SpongeBob DVDs, <laughs> just like the, the 3DS version. And um, as I recommended when I did my mail day video for the SpongeBob SquarePants 3D on for Nintendo 3DS, if you had to choose between the two, obviously I would recommend the 3DS version because then you wouldn't have to purchase the extra uh, U-Draw tablet. And in fact, the 3DS version has an exclusive set of levels as well. So I'm not sure why they did that. I mean, shouldn't the U-Draw one have the exclusives? But, oh well. So that was SpongeBob Squiggle Pants, not even 3D <laughs> for the Wii and U-Draw tablet. Uh, in 2013, I got Spongebob's Boating Bash. This was originally released in 2010, as you can see on the back here, uh, 2010 THQ, and there we go. So demolish or be demolished. Crash, bash, and avoid obstacles and drive backwards and forwards to ultimately be the last boat standing. Okay, and then this is the disc. Um, this cost, I think, 26 or 27 US dollars. So it was much cheaper than the rest of them. Um, here, this on the back, we also have the advertisement for a bunch of DVDs. This time it, adver it advertises Lost Stand, Viking Size Adventures, which I still don't have in terms of it's like the case. I do have it in the triple pack, but not individually. True for square, two square pans are not two square pans. Big one. Okay, so here is the instruction booklet. Uh, getting started, learn to drive, <laughs> open inverted commas. Uh, so we got recklessness. Um, then we've got, yeah, destruction, recklessness, impairment, velocity, and escape. <laughs> it was, this game was hilarious because instead of driving, you would just wreck stuff. 
And this game also has a different uh, variant in the Nintendo th uh, DS version. But I'm not gonna be getting that, honestly, because... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just not... I don't have any, enough space for all of those DS games. But again, for the True for Square and Atlanta Square Pants one, it's in a lot, so, you know, it kind of makes sense if I can get it together and, like, uh, purchase them together. So, yeah, it makes economic sense. The second to last Wii game I have here is Creature from the Krusty Krab. If you guys have been watching from 2013, you would remember this. This is what it looks like, uh, well, eight years later. Uh, not in great, not in the best condition, all right. Okay, it's still not that bad as compared to the PC games like the Nickelodeon Basketball one. Unfortunately, the disc is out and um, has this like a like stain around the disc. Uh, and that's because when it came, uh, the press here thing was uh, broken. So very, I was very disappointed in that video if you guys ever watched it. But it is what it is, right? So let me just put that there and remove the metal. So Creature from the Krusty Krab is by far my favorite Spongebob video game, especially for their consoles, followed closely by maybe Spongebob SquarePants and Spongebob the movie. So Lights, Camera, Pants is advertised on the back, the GameCube version. So Creature from the Krusty Krab I think was a very underrated game. It was claimed to be overrated, I don't understand why. It did, the concept for Creature from the Krusty Krab is very very different and although uh, maybe there were bigger and aspirations for the game. I think the what it turned out to be, especially in terms of music, whoa. This game was insanely good. <laughs> All right, insanely good in terms of the music. And in terms of SpongeBob video game music, it is my favorite. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the main menu theme was so epic. Then we also have this advertisement for SpongeBob books, by the way. I do have the, this, um, what's it called? The Essential Guide, yes. So maybe one day I'll do a video on that. Um, all three of those I have that too, and, and the uh, Krusty Krab I do have that. Yeah, the Lego Spongebob. Man, I miss the Legos. And lastly, we do have the Spongebob DVDs ad, <laughs> okay? We have Karate Island, which I do have in a black case, unfortunately. Lost in Time in a white case. And unlike here, when it's in a black case, I do have Will of a Birthday in the white case. So yes, I'll have all of them, essentially. So that is Creature from the Krusty Krab. The last one here is unfortunately not in great condition, and this was in exact condition as it came in. It was uh, completely destroyed, as, essentially. Uh, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Well, anyways, I wasn't too uh, annoyed about it after I actually played the game, because the game was just garbage. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. The game was just garbage. Uh, not worth the money at all, but since I'm a SpongeBob fan, I do have to purchase it and add it to the video game collection. So it was just horrendous, okay? This is just a disc, and um, let me end up this by looking at this. Oh yeah, it's a brand new condition disc. In terms of instruction manual, they just gave us this uh, warning, health warning sheet. So that was that, and pretty much it. So those are the Wii games, but we are almost done, but not exactly done. Here I have the three Nintendo GameCube games that I showed in the previous video. I'm not gonna go through these again because, uh, well, I did go through them, all, all three of them in that video. Um, just again showing you Lights, Camera, Pans for the GameCube, which I'm very excited to start playing because of something that we will be unboxing shortly, as well as Revenge of the Flying Dutchman with metal complete. And then lastly, SpongeBob Movie. Unfortunately, the disc is peeling for some reason. I don't even know why, it started peeling. Uh, after the mail day video that I did, so very strange. But yeah, uh, as for Nintendo Switch, we only have one game so far that has a physical edition. There is a new SpongeBob game released for Nintendo Switch, Krusty Cook-Off Extra Krusty Edition. I couldn't care less for that game unless they release a physical version. Um, and that game, $29.99 US dollars, is insane for what you get, okay? Insanely bad for what you get. So this is the US edition. I, I did make a video, but I never uploaded it because I didn't see the point if I was just going to... Um, yeah, this, there's real... Unlike SpongeBob DVDs, there's not a lot to talk about this. All right, so this is the US edition. It came in from Miami, Florida back in June after I actually finished the playthrough of Rehydrated. So that is that. And... I also have one more Switch item. This is 
the SpongeBob <laughs> Fun Edition. Okay, look at this. THQ Nordic SpongeBob Fun Edition, manufactured by Snap Creative Manufacturing. This box is huge. <laughs> All right, and I've never unboxed this because I never saw a reason why. This is what the game looks like alone, and this is the box. All right, so. Um, yeah, it's a very big and heavy box. I got this uh, as a Black Friday sale um, last year, in 2020. Yeah, so Battle for Bikini Bottom Fun Collection Edition. So yeah, I paid approximately $89.99 US dollars for it. And it was free shipping, came with Amazon Prime. Without free shipping, this, ship, this shipped, the, the shipping fee for this would have been about $120. So that was insane. So it was a obvious pickup uh, because of what you get inside. My favorite item out of uh, that collection is the Tiki key rings. Unfortunately, you guys will never see it on this channel because I'm not planning to open this. I'll just keep it sealed. So yeah, that is that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a huge box essentially. It's a very heavy box. I think it's like five kilograms or something. So yeah, that is that. And all right, so that brings our section on console games to an end. Next up, handheld game. In terms of handheld games, I only have five of them at this point in time. I do have one more coming in as well as one more GameCube game. Both of them are sealed, but I decided to just make this video because I'm not gonna wait for those to come in. That will probably come in like June. So uh, let me just go from oldest to newest in, in, in uh, order of when I got them. First up, this was the only one I got in 2017. Um, when I purchased the new Nintendo 2DS XL, I found this very cheap. It was like 10, 15 bucks, 10 bucks, 10 US dollars essentially. This is the spine, surf and skate road trip. Grab your board, carve it up, go sponge wild. Okay. And then inside we have the cartridge. Uh, we have the health and safety precautions booklet. Maybe just lower this, like, yeah, maybe this would help a little bit more. Yeah, so this is the health and safety precautions, surf and skate road trip instruction booklet. Okay, so guys, again, pause wherever you want to read and read. Well, actually, this is this is working very well. <laughs> I mean, uh, in terms of like the, cl the clarity of the, the video now. On the back, uh, advertising SpongeBob runaway road trip, as well as objects and mirror are sillier than they appear. <laughs> this is a good one. So yeah, that was Servant Skate Road Trip. Really not a great game, honestly, uh, especially on the DS. I think the Xbox 360 version is decent. It doesn't have the snowboarding level on Xbox 360, but still, this game, eh. Okay, something that I did a video for earlier this year is for this, Drawn to Life SpongeBob SquarePants Edition. Um, this is the spine. And on the back, okay. Since I've already gone through this, I'm just gonna show you guys the cartridge here. There we go. And then it, oh yeah, okay, it does have the instruction booklet um, at the back here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna show you, show it to you since it's not too, not gonna take too long anyway. Okay, so we got contents, introduction, setup, main menu. You know, I'm, I really gotta find a solution to the lighting. Uh, it just ruins the whole video and it makes it super complicated to record these because I had to keep cutting it out or remaking parts when the lighting just ruins the focus of the of the video. So we also have Yellow Avenger, something I got uh, via mail and this got it used uh, like the other two back in March. Uh, we have the cartridge here, Yellow Avenger, and then the manuals. So we had the Health and Safety Precaution Booklet, Nick Games Academy, which was uh, basically advertising uh, Nickelodeon games like Nickelodeon Unite, um, Danny Phantom, The Ultimate Enemy, Yellow Avenger, of course, Lights, Camera, Pants. The Game Boy Ad uh, Advance Edition of Lights, Camera, Pants was, in my opinion, really just bad. Not worth it. So yeah, that, that is the ad. And then Yellow Avenger. This one's actually kind of long. <laughs> okay, so. Um, yeah. Revenge of the Suds. Okay, so we got a lot of uh, st 
stuff in here. Honestly, I haven't actually gotten to playing the game even though I said I was going to it back when I did a Melody video, just because I've been so busy. Um, and now, summer, yeah, oh well. Okay, then the first brand new game that I had, uh, SpongeBob Hero Pants. Unfortunately, uh, as you might have seen in the Mail Day, or heard in the Mail Day video, the cartridge inside is loose, so very disappointing, but it is what it is. Oh, by the way, that's the back. And then the last one, the most recent uh, Nintendo 3DS game, SpongeBob's Google Pants 3D, which I just uh, made a video on two videos ago. So again, that is the cartridge right there, and then the instruction manual. There we go. So out of the five games, honestly, this is my favorite, uh, the five handheld games. And out of the various Wii games, I would say Creature from the Krusty Krab is my favorite. Of the Xbox games, probably, um, oh darn, I just bent the mantle. Um, probably SpongeBob Movie. Out of the Nintendo Switch games, I can only choose one, <laughs> which would be SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Run Rehydrated. And then out of the um, PC games, I would say probably Lights, Camera, Pants was my favorite. So yeah, those are the five handheld games I've gotten so far again. So we have 10 PC games and or 11 titles if you count in Krusty Collection, 16 console system games, so Xbox, Wii, Nintendo Switch, and GameCube, and then uh, that includes UDraw Studio, and then lastly five handheld game console games including the DS and 3DS games. So yeah, that's basically the wrap up of the collection, but this video is not ending immediately because remember we still have these packages to open up. The first item, receipt. Yes, yeah, so the um, item that we got inside is this uh, 128 megabyte memory card for the GameCube slash Wii. It is taped up so I'm just going to quickly open this because I am going to use it anyway. So tape off. It's made in China, uh, honestly not surprised. Okay, how do I open this? Um, push oh okay so yeah and then inside here we have it in this little plastics plastic seal um let's see the reason why i had to get this is obviously because gamecube games actually require a memory card to uh, function and then the next package here so we've got a memory card but we need a controller don't we so i purchased a third-party controller off amazon as well uh, this came in from texas uh, the other one came in from chicago yeah so this is the controller that i purchased this is what it looks like um, i'm not gonna unbox it in this video but yeah basically this is what it is it looks like i paid um i think about 13 us dollars for this um, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. Yeah, basically these two items I needed for to play the GameCube games. Actually, one more thing I needed to play a GameCube game, the Wii. So after I made a video about about the mail for the mail day for these, my Wii well didn't seem to work anymore. So I had to pick up a spare Wii. Originally I thought it was the AC power adapter. It turned out to actually be the Wii. It just stopped working. So I managed to pick a spare Wii, just a console up for. $20, around 17 US dollars essentially. So that was a, a great deal. And thankfully, that means we can start playing Wii games and GameCube games on the Wii again for our playthrough video series. So yes, I'm announcing it right here, right now. The first playthrough series that we'll be doing is actually one for Creature from the Krusty Krab, since it is my favorite uh, SpongeBob video game. So all you guys who have been asking me to play SpongeBob video games, yes, I'm gonna do it, okay? <laughs> Let's start off with Creature Run the Krusty Krab, coming real soon, so make sure to stay tuned for those. Following up uh, after that, we'll be doing True Four Square, and after that, I am intending to play one of these three games, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, Lights, Camera, and Pants, or SpongeBob Movie. So uh, if you guys have a preference, you can comment in the box below, you can put it in the chat if you're watching the premiere, um, and I will be taking that into account when I decide which game to play first. So yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, consider, keep right here on the SpongeBob channel, out on the SpongeBob 101. And I'll see you guys in the next SpongeBob video. Bye.